NCIS Los Angeles has done remarkably well given that it's a spin-off series. It has reached 14 seasons with 313 episodes and counting. The show is still going strong. Did you know that NCIS stood for Naval Criminal Investigation Services? Since the show has been around for a while, since 2009, we will go down memory lane. So here are the best 10 episodes of NCIS Los Angeles so far ranked. First up, we have number 10, Hot Water, Season 8, Episode 13. Either way. Granger's the least of your worries, Detective Deeks. Agree to disagree. Detective Whiting. This episode for fans is one to remember, as this was assistant director Owen Granger's, Miguel Ferrer's, final appearance. It also had a lot of conflicts going on, and you have to wonder sometimes how everything will be resolved by the end of the episode. The team is in a precarious situation. Episode 13 of season 8 was part of the first three-part episode arc. It explored the story around the mole who infiltrated the NCIS team. This episode had many twists and turns. There were arrests of Sam, Granger, Callan, and Deeks, Eric Olson, because they planted evidence. Secretary Duncan returns and forces Hetty to resign, which surprises everyone. This too causes an element of stress for the team. The nature of this show tends to be around a mole. This episode is fun to watch because everyone is under investigation and many were targeted for crimes they did not commit. It made for exciting viewing because of the uncertainty around each character and the drama around it all. Sadly, actor Miguel Ferrer died from cancer shortly after this episode was filmed. Next, we have number 9, Till Death Do Us Part, Season 10, Episode 17. I'm getting married today to a woman that I love more than anything in this world, and the next, arguably. More often than not, when people think of NCIS Los Angeles, they think of undercover work, action, and intrigue. So when a Rare Romance episode happens, watching something different from the norm of this TV show is a joy. Kenzie and Marty finally get married in this episode after months of planning this wedding. It was also a slow burn for fans to watch, and often kept fans at the edge of their seats with the will they, won't they. They dated for four years and were engaged for two. Of course, it wasn't a smooth sailing wedding, and it delivered many twists and turns. It took until the end of the episode for them to have their wedding. Deeks' past almost messed everything up with the reoccurrence of an old acquaintance, a Natalie Kirkin. Deeks, unfortunately, has his wedding day interrupted in the form of a Russian mobster. Lucky for him, his friends at NCIS do their best to keep them out and from Deeks knowing what is happening behind the scenes. It makes this a memorable episode because the full display of friendship, love, and humor. It was also lovely for fans of the episode not to be a cliffhanger. Moving on to number 8, Mother, Season 11, Episode 10. One of the joys of watching this spinoff is the incredible ease that past decisions come back to haunt them. Unfortunately for Hetty, who seemed to look immune from this trend until this episode. For fans, it is always a good episode when we learn more about Hetty's past. Hetty had quite a career in the military, espionage, and law enforcement, and often came across as the unusual leader of the team. The former agent she trained, Athos Laos, Carl Bukas, comes back to seek revenge. Athos is front and center in this episode, as the show delves into his past and how evil he really is. His family sent him away to the Botswana tribe, because they feared he was evil. After that, Athos was rescued by Hetty, who trained him. He staged his death to flee from the State Department, and Athos's only mission was vengeance. He wanted to inflict as much pain onto anyone who pushed him into the dark profession. This episode is known for its violence. It is a compelling and fast-paced and enjoyable watch indeed. Next, we have number 7, The One That Got Away, Season 10, Episode 21. This is where they try and follow their procedures to find the convicts in hiding. Anna Kolchek, our Paley, escapes from prison with a fellow inmate. The NCIS team are asked to help find them. Anna happens to be Callan's ex-girlfriend, which adds further intrigue to the storyline. It was because of Callan that she ended up in Gaul. It was his testimony that got her convicted and put an end to their relationship. Finding Anna took work. She went to Russia to find Callan's dad to kill his dad. This episode was a great start to the new backstory that followed. And now we have number six, Spoils of War, season five, episode 19. They cross over that border. Kenzie is as good as dead. She might be already. I'll do it myself if I have to. The loyalty between the cast is some of the most significant episodes of NCIS. Even though it is entertaining to see them fight bad guys, it is quite endearing to watch when they fight for each other and risk their lives. Hetty suspects Kenzie is in danger and sends the team in to help. Sam, Callan, and Deeks fly to Afghanistan with a million in cash to get their buddy back from supposed Taliban operators. Moving on to number five, Home is Where the Heart Is, Season 8, Episode 6. If you're planning an attack, why interfere with the home invasion next door? Love thy neighbor? 
I'm gonna pretend you never said that. This episode for many had a lot of heart and focused on human connection rather than action. It was somewhat sad and captivating at the same time. The team had to deal with personal issues and was forced to come to terms with them, making it very difficult. Most of the members have been dealing with family matters. Deeks and Kenzie were in the hospital and the struggle for Deeks was fully displayed. He's coming to terms with the fact that Kenzie may have an incomplete spinal cord injury, which could lead to irreparable damage. Nell and Anna also deal with how to work with each other during this episode. Next, we have number four, False Flag, Season 10, Episode 24. I mean it. But if you're an operative for another country or an organization, that is a crime. This episode had everything. Drama, adventure, action, and intrigue. The ending of episode 24, season 10, sure gave viewers that this was a roller coaster of an episode. During the last scene, a bomb goes off in the Middle East, which could spark World War III. Many agents find themselves in danger, and everything is moving slowly. Sam and Callan work with Navy Captain Harmon, Harm, Rab Jr., David James Elliott, to find the ISIS on the USS Allegiance ship. Hetty also asks for a friend's help to gather information from a Russian diplomat. Nell is also staying with her sick mother, and Eric has to concentrate on his job while dealing with personal issues. It also was a storyline that did a decent job of having many moving parts that found their way together in the end. This episode was nostalgic as it brought back Jags, Harm, and Mac. This was a reminder to fans that this was where it all started way back in 1995. Harm is tasked with helping Sam and Callan restrain the suspects on the military ship. Still, they also need to handle drama outside the boat. Did you enjoy seeing the old Jag crew back together? And now we have number three, Citadel, Season 7, Episode 2. Action is all about problems and solutions. Not good is something you practice more. When a show brings in a new recurring character, it adds another level to the show. This introduction of Talia did this for the show. Talia is introduced because of a horrible event. Her partner is murdered, and so she asks for the NCIS team's help to find out who did it. Her introduction was done in an exceptionally well-designed way. Do you think it was one of the better introductions of a new team member? The episode focuses on Denzi and the firm, the Citadel Behavioral Research Center, which has secretly built spies in many federal organizations. As soon as one of the team members discovers this, they take on the task of bringing down this secret organization. This was a theatrical and action-packed episode. Kenzie and Deeks also had a level of drama in their relationship. Moving on to number two, Familia, season two, episode 24. But when Comesco finds out what you've done, we'll both be dead together. This episode was the last for season two, leaving many viewers with more questions than answers. Hetty decides to resign and leaves everyone confused. Callan and Sam are learning how to deal with their new boss. They also discover that Operation Comiscu is about the Romanian Comiscu crime family, which sadly wants Callan dead no matter what. There were many moving plot lines and mysteries in Familia, and it definitely has a cliffhanger that got people talking and wanting to find out more. Finally, we have number one, Unleashed, season eight, episode 24. It's not about you. If it's about you, it's about me and everyone else on this team. This is where Sam's wife died. Michelle was murdered by Tahir Kalan of Anselm Richardson, and this rage drives the entire episode. The loyalty and camaraderie between the characters as Sam decides to go on his own to find Tahir shows that these agents love each other. They are family. This is an outstanding performance for LL Cool J. The focus and cold-blooded conduct were terrifying to watch. This episode drew a close to an action-packed season. It was a feel-good story, even though there was a terrible death. We hope you enjoyed watching this video about the 10 best episodes of NCIS Los Angeles so far ranked. Do you guys agree with the list? Could we have added any others? Please leave a comment down below. We would love to hear your thoughts. And remember to like and subscribe. Until next time.